Welcome back, everybody, for some more Devapala. In what I think is the second to last scenario, it's time for some liberation. It is in one's own mind, not their enemy or foe, that lures them to evil ways, said the Buddha. As I feared, our emperor had indeed changed. The seed of self-righteousness, planted long ago and nurtured by uninterrupted success, had begun to bear fruit. In Devapala's mind, the ends now justified the means, no matter how terrible or costly. And so he ordered a campaign to the south to subjugate the Pandyas, a proud people who were former allies and trading partners of his, and bring them the teachings of the Buddha. When word of this reached me, I burst into my emperor's chambers, begging him to reconsider. Needless aggression is not the mark of a virtuous ruler, I said, and forced conversion only thickens the resolve of a people against the creed. I told him that this war would cost thousands of lives and bring suffering to countless more. But the words that once guided him towards the path of light now fell on deaf ears. It is as one near the summit of the mountain that the footing becomes most treacherous. Now all I could do was helplessly watch as the armies of a tyrant descended upon a new victim. Feels bad, man. So time to take down the pandas. I mean pandyas. Definitely sounds a lot like pandas, though. But who would ever want to wage war against pandas? Uh, defeat the pandyas by destroying their castles. Uh, Devapala begins in the Imperial Age, but it's restricted to a pop limit of 150. Be aggressive. You have a limited number of villagers and can fish the sea, but your main source of supplies will be conquering enemy settlements. Bengali ships regenerate hit points over time. Do not destroy what you can conquer. Uh, leveling an enemy castle will give you control of nearby buildings. Concentrate on your objectives. Delay too much and you could quite well run out of resources. Uh, Devapala and his forces approach uh, Pandya borders and are ready to expand their domain to the south. The Pandyas control several settlements along the Bay of Bengal. Their forces of in infantry and range units are initially no match for the Pala army, but uh, should be dealt with before they can bolster their resistance. The, Rastr the Rastrakutas rule the lands beyond the mountains to the west, northwest, and north. Their foot soldiers and elephants have not engaged the Palas yet, but as a known rivalry, as a known rival, they should be watched with caution. Got some Hunas. I was wondering when we'd get a naval mission. I'm not so sure about this French of venerable Devapala. War only creates hey, more dissatisfaction and suffering, not less. Well, can't argue with that logic. Hi. Okay, so no TCs. And this looks like a scenario. Our ability to obtain supplies is limited. We should look to the sea for food and plunder the contents of enemy castles. Okay. You must conquer these lands. Please do so as swiftly and as bloodlessly as you can. Every drop of blood spilled is a step away from your enlightenment. For once, there is sense in the advisor's words. Oh, boy. If we construct a fleet, we can level the Pandya fortifications from the sea. Okay, so we have some very anachronistic gunpowder. <laughs> Okay, so now we have to channel our inner T West and do some pacifist gameplay. Now, Bengalis have everything except a uh, heavy demo ship, I believe. Anyway, that one should be fine. Oh. I mean, this is just going to end up killing a lot of units. Hmm. 
Um. Wait. Creating up warships after shipwright doesn't make any sense. Anyway, everyone else should be Dravidians, indeed. Ah! Do Bengal I think Bengalis get heated shot. Yeah. We have leveled the Bandia Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. Okay. Balaam is venturing this far south. What are you doing, Devapala? I know, I know, it doesn't make sense, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, we definitely want to go and get the, uh, the kills. Or, not get the kills. The other one. <laughs> uh, can I build a university at least? Yes, I can. Wait, can I just build... Oh, I can build all military buildings. Was this talk always here or did I just build it? I don't remember. I apparently have short-term memory issues. We're already kind of halfway there with our uh, maximum allotted unit kills. Oh, we already have chemistry. Duh. You'd think the big glowing projectiles would have tipped me off. I guess we have to defeat the Rashta Kutras um, afterwards, would be my guess. Anyway, go after the enemy docks. Start going after this castle. Okay, we're halfway to our <laughs> kill limit. Oh no! Interesting challenge, though. Yeah, I can live with that. Because especially since we have elite cannon galleons, it has to be... Our objective has to be more than just uh, taking down these three castles. Otherwise, what are the Rashtrakutas uh, Rash doing? My guess is we'll just have to go ahead and defeat them once... Uh, you know, we take down the Pandyas. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, there's a the, the slight delay confused me. The Pandya lands will fall, and then what? Will you enforce your dogmatic rule upon all of India? I mean, you know, there are worse ideas. Oh, can we not access this one with cannon galleons? Oh, we cannot. Oh. 
Well, now they're, they're, all these guys are going to start killing each other. I can't stop them from dying. Okay. Okay, hold on. We're redoing this. We are just going to chill. This is my command, cousin. I will bring the feeble bandiers to heal, whatever the cost. I am not so sure about this venture, venerable Devapala. Okay, that one was always there. It's more dissatisfaction and suffering, not less. Okay. Everyone's going to be nice and happy at home while we just bombard stuff with cannon galleons. Our ability to obtain supplies is limited. We should look to the sea for food and plunder the contents of enemy castles. If you must conquer these lands, please do so as swiftly and as bloodlessly as you can. Every drop of blood spilled is a step away from your enlightenment. For once, there is sense in the advisor's words. If we construct a fleet, we can level the bandy fortifications from the sea. Or at least most of them, I guess. Okay. That is a lot of enemy ships. It's a lot of enemy ships, in fact. Okay, let's just debate him into our tower and castle. Well, I can't really stop them from doing that. Start getting some cannon galleons going. Go get him. Go ahead and start to work away at this castle. I hope we don't need the elite upgrade to uh, arrange it. I don't think so. I don't see why I would. They're fielding a very large fleet. Off to the races. Uh, ahem. Right, let's get another one. And once we take this castle down, we'll uh, have enough resources for elite. But since we can't elite cannon galleon down the final castle, I think we're gonna sk just gonna make a bunch of trebs and go to town. Good 
some uh, elephants as a meat shield. Right, there we go. We have leveled the Bandia Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. Hooray! Let's go ahead and get you. Bala armies venturing this far south. What are you doing, Deva? <laughs> I love that tone, like, what are you doing, Deva Bala? Like, for real, man. Alrighty, and I think once we get uh, a few traps, we'll be fine. We have leveled the Bandia Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. I don't really want to like train any more units just in case. The Pandia lands will fall, and then what? Will you enforce your dogmatic rule on all of India? I mean, you say that like that's a bad thing. You know, dogmatic has the word dog in it, and dogs are objectively great. Okay. I should be able to take down at least these guys. Should have enough runway left, so to say. Oh man, these Arumi guys are insane. Yeah, just ignore the trebs. Yeah, we still got another uh, 30 kills. And they clearly are not with 30 more units. Uh, let's get some more fishy fish, since that's kind of an area in which we can expand our eco. Not a butcher. Your conduct has inspired monks to bring the word of the Buddha. Oh, hey. We have leveled the Bandia Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. So we get three relics, and maybe we get more resources? The lands are ours now, cousin. Your glory knows no bounds. All right, Rashkachuchas. It's time. Oh! Okay, so I guess we kind of have to like go up through this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I doubt we can cross the mountains here. So let's start getting some upgrades. Uh, helping us out. Our navy really isn't going to be able to do much more, so I kind of over-invested into naval upgrades. But we can still add in fishing eco, nice and safe. Okay, um, let's see if we can get like a forward siege workshop. Hmm. 
<laughs> get my Ayana for my 10 vills. Get one more population. The value. I mean, there's no reason why we shouldn't go for a huge fish boom. We have a 150 pop limit. Right. Well, we only have the two castles, but might as well start making some Rathas. Convert them! Oh. Okay. This works. Uh, since we have three relics. Also, let's get uh, you guys. Just convert as many Elephantos as we can. Where the... Could have sworn I had more monks. So yeah, I mean, we do get the infrastructure of all the areas that we conquer. Which is quite nifty. So let's just focus on these castles. I like how, you know, when we were attacking the Pandyas, it was all about, okay, let's just kill as few units as possible. But when we're attacking the Rashtrakutas, our, you know, our old family rivals, it's like, eh, just go kill them. That's good, the monastery. Oh wait, do I get town uh the town center? Cause that'd be pretty dope. No. Lies in ruins. Secure the buildings and continue our thrust to enemy territory. But we do get a bunch of resources. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll be good. Thanks for your concern though. Just try and get some conversions. Get siege elephants. Start with some fish traps. Like literally I could be adding in way more fishing ships. There's plenty of ocean to fish. Alrighty. Onward and upward we go. Our army's kind of a little bit of everything, but whatever.
They have a bunch of elephant archers that we can convert. Let me just have our nice little mix here. I wonder what the point of the local inhabitants is. Maybe they give us like lumber camps and stuff. I wonder why the this trigger is so delayed. Ooh. The Are you going to kill me, Devapala? I mean, sure. Are you hanging out by the wonder? Get some more elephant archers, get some more Rathas. Bring our trebs up. And now we should just be able to kind of bulldoze them. Bengalis are kind of a bulldozing sieve. But that's why we love them. Your dear mother hailed from these lands, Bebopala. Your invasion spits on her memory. Maybe she hated her homeland. Maybe that's why she left. Ever think about that, my main man? Anyway, we just have to make a beeline for the wonder. It's a cool scenario. Like, obviously the difficulty is still very low. Um, but I, I at least, like, in, in general, yes, this campaign's super easy, but I at least feel like it's interesting. And it's at least fun to just trample stuff with a bunch of elephants and rathas. Whoa, look at all those shorefish. Getting that Dravidian bonus. Anyway, GG no re. Uh, construction cancellation. Oh, I guess the achievements are now live. Your marauding will not break the resolve of my people. Well, that's nice to hear. You only lose what you cling to, said the Buddha. Devapala found that to be all too true. The more he tightened his grip on the south, the more it, or perhaps more accurately its ashes, slipped through his fingers. My emperor and his bellicose cousin had created a nightmare. There was no cheer or pride to be felt. As the Pala army struck its tents and began the long march back home, the stench of death and smoke choked the air, punctuated by the haunting wails of the broken people that my emperor and his forces left behind. Tormented by the recognition of his arrogance and its price, Devapala breathed not a single word during the entire week-long journey home. Sag. Okay, whatever. Well, that's a pretty good KD. That's a Bengali KD. And yeah, I mean, like, it's a cool idea. It's a cool concept. It's just obviously not very challenging. But I like the idea... I mean, the whole not 
having to kill enough units. You know, the good old T-West pacifist run, and then like the, oh, surprise, wonder, way on the other side of the map. Like, that's cool. I like that. So, pretty good stuff. Anyway, Enlightenment, I think, is the final scenario in this campaign, unless I am mistaken. But, uh, we will see you guys next time for that one.